It sounds like you're describing a conflict or scenario where nature, warfare, and predation intertwine in a brutal way, with vultures as opportunistic predators. This could be an allegory for the impacts of war on both ecosystems and human settlements, where the consequences of battle extend beyond the immediate violence and affect the surrounding environment, wildlife, and communities. The mention of vultures scavenging corpses and then targeting livestock after the conflict shifts from wilderness to farmland suggests a shift in ecological dynamics as the war moves closer to human settlements. Vultures, being scavengers, would thrive in environments where there is a surplus of dead animals, including those resulting from battle or conflict. In the absence of wild prey, they might turn to farm animals, exacerbating the challenges for local farmers who are already affected by the chaos of war. If this is a metaphorical representation, it's highlighting how wars not only destroy human lives and infrastructure, but also disrupt ecosystems. The vultures, in this case, represent the opportunistic forces that capitalize on devastation, while the shift from wilderness to farmland could symbolize the encroachment of violence on peaceful, productive areas. Vultures have become a widespread nuisance in many parts of the American South, especially as human development expands into what were once more natural environments. As these birds adapt to new, human-made environments, they are increasingly seen on rooftops, porches, balconies, and even perched on vehicles they tend to be attracted to. In some areas, vultures have learned to destroy windshield wipers and other vehicle components, likely because they either mistake these parts for something to interact with, or due to the reflective surfaces that might draw them in. This can create problems for vehicle owners, as the damage can be both costly and persistent. As the number of vultures increases, their behavior can become more focused on farm animals, particularly weaker or sick livestock, including newborn calves or chickens. In extreme cases, vultures have been known to attack these animals, pecking at them and causing injury, which can lead to financial loss for farmers. Vultures, particularly the turkey vulture and black vulture, have demonstrated incredible adaptability, which is partly why their populations have been expanding. Here are some key factors driving this growth. Vultures are opportunistic feeders and can exploit a wide range of environments for food. Whether it's open ground, deserts, or forests, vultures are able to locate carcasses or other food sources. They can even feed in aquatic environments where they might scavenge dead fish or other aquatic animals that have washed up on shore. The turkey vulture, for instance, typically migrates during colder months, but can also stay during milder winters in certain areas. This flexibility allows vultures to spread their range and adjust their locations based on available food sources and environmental conditions. Their migration patterns, driven by temperature and food availability, enable them to move across vast areas, further expanding their reach into new territories. Vultures are also known for their remarkable flying abilities. They can soar at high altitudes, often reaching 200 to 300 feet above the ground, which allows them to skin large areas for food. This high-flying behavior enables them to cover vast stretches of land, including farmlands, forests, and urban areas where they can find food and roosting sites. Vultures typically hunt by hovering or gliding while searching for carrying relying on their keen eyesight to spot potential food sources from great distances. Vultures, often seen as a nuisance in human-populated areas, actually play an incredibly important ecological role, especially when it comes to cleaning up animal carcasses and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Your mention of vultures in Spain highlights the extraordinary service these birds provide, not just in maintaining ecosystem health, but in addressing environmental and economic challenges. Vultures, particularly species like the griffin vulture in Spain, can consume large quantities of carcasses each day. In Spain, it's estimated that vultures can remove 200 tons of bones and more than 8,300 tons of rotting meat annually. This is a staggering amount of waste that they prevent from piling up in the environment. By consuming dead livestock and wild animal carcasses, vultures ensure that decaying matter doesn't linger in the environment. This rapid consumption is crucial for maintaining the health of the ecosystem, as decaying bodies can spread diseases or attract other scavengers that could pose additional risks to the environment. 
As carcasses decay, they release greenhouse gases, particularly methane a potent contributor to climate change. By consuming carcasses quickly, vultures reduce the decay time, which limits the amount of methane and other harmful gases released into the atmosphere. This is especially significant in areas like agricultural lands, where livestock mortality can lead to large quantities of decomposing bodies. In regions where livestock is a major part of the economy, managing dead animal disposal can be both costly and logistically challenging. Farmers often need to transport dead carcasses to processing plants or disposal facilities, which can be expensive, time-consuming, and energy-intensive. Vultures help reduce these costs by removing carcasses from the land. In places where vultures are abundant, their natural scavenging can significantly lower the expenses associated with carcass collection and disposal. In fact, vultures are often considered a cost-effective, natural solution to waste management in rural areas. Yes, vultures provide a cost-effective and natural solution to waste management in rural areas, particularly in regions where livestock mortality is a common occurrence. Instead of relying on costly carcass collection, transportation, and disposal methods, vultures offer an efficient and eco-friendly way of dealing with dead animals, reducing both financial costs and the environmental burden associated with disposal practices. Here's how vultures help achieve these benefits. In rural areas, particularly in agricultural and livestock-heavy regions, the death of animals whether from disease, old age, or accidents requires timely removal to prevent disease spread and environmental contamination. The costs associated with transporting these carcasses to processing plants, rendering facilities, or landfills can be significant, especially in remote areas where disposal facilities might be far away. Vultures perform the task of scavenging, removing carcasses efficiently from the land. By consuming dead livestock or wildlife, vultures save farmers and landowners from the expenses related to dead animal removal, such as transportation, processing fees, and labor costs. When vultures can access carcasses in the field, there is no need for transportation or disposal infrastructure, making it a significantly cheaper alternative. Instead of sending carcasses to a processing plant, the vultures can remove the remains naturally, preventing waste buildup and facilitating faster decomposition. Vultures help to accelerate the natural decomposition process by consuming carcasses, thus reducing the time it takes for organic material to break down. This has several environmental benefits. Carcasses left to decompose on the ground, especially in warmer conditions, produce methane a potent greenhouse gas. By quickly consuming these carcasses, vultures limit the amount of methane released into the atmosphere, contributing to climate change mitigation. When carcasses are left untreated or improperly disposed of, they can attract pests, including rodents, insects, and wild carnivores, which can contribute to further health risks and pollution. Vultures prevent this by consuming the bodies before other animals can interact with them, keeping the environment cleaner and less prone to contamination. For farmers, especially those with large livestock operations, vultures offer a sustainable waste management solution. Rather than relying on synthetic chemicals or non-natural methods to handle dead animal remains, vultures act as a part of the natural food web, ensuring that dead animals are safely and quickly recycled into the ecosystem. Using vultures to clean up carcasses means farmers do not need to resort to harmful chemicals or synthetic processes to manage carcass disposal, which can reduce their dependence on external waste management solutions and decrease operating costs. Black vultures, unlike their red-headed relatives, the turkey vultures, exhibit more aggressive behavior, which can cause significant concerns in agricultural areas, particularly for less stock owners. While turkey vultures primarily scavenge, feeding only on already dead animals, black vultures are opportunistic predators, sometimes attacking live animals, especially those that are weak, young, or vulnerable. 
This distinction between the species is key in understanding the challenges posed by vultures in rural and farming communities. Black vultures are known for their boldness and aggressiveness, and they sometimes target live animals. They are more likely to attack young livestock or animals in distress, such as a calf during birth, which cannot defend itself. In some documented cases, black vultures have been known to peck at the eyes, ears, and soft tissue of living animals, causing significant injuries. Because black vultures are scavengers that will opportunistically feed on anything they can access, they often focus on newborns or sick animals that are already vulnerable. This behavior is most troubling for farmers who might find their livestock under attack during birthing or in cases of injury or illness. Unlike turkey vultures, which rely exclusively on carrying, black vultures can pose an active threat to the welfare of the animals they target. For instance, as in the example you share, if a cow is giving birth and the calf is weak, the mother cow unable to protect the newborn could become an easy target for vultures. Their behavior, in some cases, involves pulling animals out of the mother's body or attacking animals that are still alive but too weak to defend themselves. The rapid population growth of vultures, particularly black vultures, has become a significant issue for farmers, especially in regions stretching from the Gulf of Mexico to Ohio and from Texas to New York. The competitive advantage vultures have in consuming carcasses quickly has allowed their numbers to explode, creating problems in areas where less stock is common. Here's an exploration of their life cycle, the impact on agriculture, and potential solutions to manage this growing challenge. Vultures have a slow reproductive rate compared to many other birds, but their survival skills and lack of natural predators have led to their rapid population increase. Here's an overview of the vulture breeding cycle. Vultures typically lay two eggs per brood, although only one chick usually survives. The incubation period lasts between 28 to 40 days, and during this time, both parents take turns keeping the eggs warm and guarding them. The vulture chicks are born naked and rely heavily on the care of their parents for food and protection. As they grow, they begin developing their wings around 9 to 10 weeks. After 60 to 80 days, the young vultures are ready to leave the nest, though they still depend on their parents for food and guidance during the early stages of their independence. By the time vultures leave the nest, they have already acquired many of the hunting skills necessary for survival. These include the ability to identify carcasses from high in the sky and navigate the landscape in search of food. Vultures are incredibly resilient. They have evolved to thrive in diverse habitats and are capable of surviving in environments that are inhospitable to other species. Their immunity to many diseases found in carrion also contributes to their survival and spread. Vultures are opportunistic scavengers, and their ability to locate and consume carcasses quickly gives them a competitive edge over terrestrial carnivores, like coyotes, foxes, or even larger predators, like wolves. Here's how they achieve this. Vultures can fly high and use their excellent vision to spot dead animals from great distances, sometimes from miles away. They are well adapted to detect food sources in open fields, farms, or even urban areas. Once a carcass is found, vultures are able to consume it rapidly, leaving little for other animals to scavenge. By consuming carcasses quickly, vultures reduce the time a dead animal remains in the environment. This helps to prevent the spread of disease and prevents further scavengers from taking advantage of the remains. Vultures, particularly black vultures, have become a significant concern for farmers in the U.S., especially in rural areas where livestock is raised. As you noted, these vultures can pose a serious threat to young or vulnerable livestock, and farmers must remain vigilant to prevent attacks. However, the challenge is complicated by the fact that vultures are federally protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act MBTA, 
meaning farmers cannot hunt them to mitigate the problem. Instead, they must rely on alternative, non-lethal measures to deter vultures and protect their livestock. As per the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, vultures, along with many other bird species, are legally protected in the United States. This means that farmers cannot shoot, trap, or kill vultures without proper permits or licenses. The law is designed to conserve migratory birds, and this protection extends to black vultures and turkey vultures, which are often seen as pests in agricultural settings. Black vultures are particularly troublesome because of their aggressive behavior, as they can sometimes attack live animals, especially weak, young, or sick livestock. This has caused growing concerns among farmers, who find their animals vulnerable to these predatory behaviors. One of the most commonly used methods involves visual deterrence, such as vulture dummies. These are fake vultures often made of plastic or other materials that are placed in areas where vultures are known to gather or around livestock grazing areas. The presence of these dummies can be quite effective because vultures, particularly black vultures and turkey vultures, have increasingly become a nuisance to farmers and residents in parts of the United States, especially in areas like Indiana, where the livestock industry is an essential part of the economy. Their scavenging behavior can be damaging to farms, and their presence near human settlements presents its own set of challenges. While vultures aren't directly dangerous to humans, their aggressive nature towards livestock and their intrusive presence around homes and businesses make them a headache for many. Carcasses of dead livestock in open fields are a magnet for vultures and other scavengers. In addition to vultures, terrestrial predators such as coyotes, raccoons, or even wild dogs may also be attracted to the remains, increasing the risk of further predation on live cattle or other animals. Farmers must clean up dead livestock promptly to prevent vultures from finding the carcasses. If a carcass is left in a pasture, vultures will quickly swoop in, and the sight and scent of a dead animal will attract other predators. This is why proper carcass disposal practices are a crucial part of livestock management. Some farmers will bury the remains, others might use rendering services, or they may compost the bodies to reduce the attraction to vultures. This behavior, though uncommon, is especially problematic for livestock farmers because it adds an additional layer of risk and potential financial loss. Farmers must monitor their herds closely, particularly during birthing seasons or when animals are in a weakened state, to ensure vultures do not attack. The rise of invasive species, such as the wild boar or wild bs in Germany, presents a unique challenge that blends ecological, agricultural, and societal concerns. As wild boar populations grow, they become a significant threat to both natural ecosystems and agricultural production, particularly in regions like Bavaria. Wild boars have become increasingly abundant across Central Europe, especially in regions like Bavaria. Their population explosion can be attributed to a number of factors, including the lack of natural predators and an ideal environment created by warmer weather, which has led to abundant crops. A female wild boar can give birth to five to eight piglets at a time, and with births occurring year-round, the population grows rapidly. Without intervention, this could lead to a tripling of the population each year. Wild boars are incredibly adaptable, able to thrive in almost any environment. They are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat almost anything, including crops, roots, and small animals.